Hi there, hello, this is Ashra from Zedon Studios and today, just like in, you can see from my screen, I want us to draw a semicircular arch. Uh, this is 2D drawing, this is a very simple drawing. So let's dive in. You can see that the span of this arch is actually 1400 millimeters. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to grab my arc tool. Remember, you go to the arc, drop down arrow, select the center start, and I'll select that. It's telling me to specify the center for this. I'll specify that. And then I'll specify the radius. Of course, the radius is half 1400, which is actually 700. So hit enter. Remember, we said AutoCAD draws in the counter clockwise direction perfect so if i reach that other side you can see it's snapping in the horizontal direction snapping that is the that dotted line dotted horizontal line it's colored it's not white yeah so click there and there you have your semicircle and now i need to offset this by a distance of 225 why 225 because i need to create the extra dose of the arch and it's a full brick length from the intra dose. perfect so i'm going to click offset the offset distance is 225 enter then the object i'm offsetting is this one so that i can create the extra dose. perfect now i'm going to draw a line at the base here going to join it to the center there and uh, join it now you can see it is snapping to the midpoint uh, I'll click at the midpoint if your midpoint is not snapping simply come down here over to this snap cursor there is a drop down then check the midpoint yours might not have the tick so click it so that it ticks to then snap to the midpoint now you can see that my arch here is symmetrical. That means whatever is on the left hand side is the same thing that is on the right hand side. So what am I going to do about that? I'm going to only work with one side. What does that mean? I'm going to delete the right hand side so that I simply work with the left hand side and then later on I'll simply mirror everything on the left to the right. Perfect. So how do I delete this? I'm simply going to trim it. We said get the trim. And after getting trim, simply hit enter and then trim this away and trim this away. Perfect. Now I want us to um, divide the extra dose into segments of 75 from the crown up here all the way down here to the abutment. Okay, so um, how do we divide? If we go back to our draw tab and we click the drop down arrow, we have very many options here, but the last option here says measure. And it says it creates point objects or blocks at measured intervals along the length or perimeter of an object. Perfect, you are going to use this. So if I grab it, I want to divide this so I'll select it and I want it's telling me to specify length of segment and the segment I want is 75 hit enter okay nothing has happened well AutoCAD has divided the segment but we can't see that so how do we fix that simply type on your keyboard D D P perfect and you'll get a drop I will get these options and select DDP type that select that and then you can see that we have opened the point style now our point style is set to a dot that's why we can't see our divisions so you're going to select something that is going to be more visible I'm going to select this and I'm going to you can set it relative to the screen let's hit OK Perfect, and there you can see we've gotten our divisions. 
perfect but this looks too big so what can I do type the command again it looks ugly type the command again go to edit the type and then I'm going to say set size in absolute units click that and say ok perfect now they are smaller and a little beautiful so I'm going to draw lines radiating lines from this point to the center of the arch to the striking point of the arch ok so grab the line tool um, make sure that you snap at that point if yours is not snapping come down here and uh, click this drop down arrow and make sure that the node is ticked you can tick this node then come back grab the line tool and uh, perfect perfect snap to the center then snap to the midpoint uh, line uh, uh, line uh. there are faster ways of doing this but uh, we shall see those in future once you people start becoming experts okay uh, 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 uh. Sure, it is snapping. Perfect, and the last one is that. Now, as you can see from the sketch that we have, we have no lines in between here. So I'll need to delete all these lines in between here. How do I do that? We trim, of course we trim. But how are we trimming this time? Simply grab your trim command, hit enter on your keyboard and uh, select from your left. And uh, perfect, it will trim away all those lines as you can see. Now we have one segment, one side of the arch. It looks weird down here, but that's okay for now. Our main objective is drawing it. So I'm going to select the whole thing and I'm going to mirror it to the other side so that I can create a complete arch. So select the whole thing, um, mirror. So it's telling us the mirror line and of course it's going to be this point and uh, that. No, don't erase. Perfect. And we have our semicircular arch. But then you realize the key brick has no midline in between there. So come select this line and delete it. Perfect. Now we need to simply dimension the span and uh, put some labels so grab your dimension tool um, the dimension is from here up to there and it's right there but as you can see I can't see the dimension uh, because the scale is very small but if I try to zoom in you can see that I get to see it so I need to fix that we said simply come to the drop down, come to dimension here, modify, and uh, we are going to simply increase the scale. I'm going to put this, let's say, at 40. Okay, close. 40 is still small, so go back and increase it. I'm going to increase this by 2, so that will be 80. Okay, modify. So make this 80. The scale we are at the feet top. Okay. Close. Okay, 80 is still small. Wow. I'll still increase that by two. I'm going to 
make it 160 okay we can now see this you can uh, still increase it if you want but i'm going to leave it there then i need to remove these zeros because they are not necessary so still go back to the mention style modify um let me increase this to 180 and then the primary units is where you can remove those zeros come to precision and set it to zero okay close perfect and we have 140 so how do we add the word span because this is saying 140 bracket span so simply click double click the dimension so that it opens up like that move the arrow to the extreme end space um, create the bracket and write span click outside and there it is perfect then our last thing that you're going to do is to label we need to put to label the key brick and the bosses so you do that using the label tool or the what we call the leader tool grab it click what you're laboring uh, outside and we're calling this the key brick click outside but as you can see still the scale is still down we can't see that so come here uh, it's the leader style and uh, modify so we are going to modify the scale here i'm going to put 160 uh, because it's down used previously for the dimensions and we have it there we have it it works fine so um still we need to dimension the voices so there type voices perfect but as you can see from here two voices are shown so what do we do to the select this there is this uh, square we call it a node on the mark leader then uh, just press your cursor in the node you'll we'll get options there and click the option of adding a leader perfect so you can select this and hit escape to come out of that command there it is you have it and uh, with that we've drawn a semicircular arch you can put in other labels you can say i want to label this remember this is our x extradus and we can also label this insert here as our introduce introduce perfect and this is your work right there semicircular arch we can actually try to write below this we can say this is a semicircular arch we use the text tool so text um it's going to be a single line so i'll select single line so specify point there height then you can specify the height from here now since we are dealing with uh, big dimensions remember from here up to here it's 1000 so the text height should also be in that range should also have a scale to that size so i'm going to use a text height of 50 enter rotation zero there we have it so i'm going to say um i'm going to say this is a semi a semi circular arch perfect perfect i can yeah that's it there we have it it's a semi circular arch perfect and there we have it and uh, that brings us to the end of this tutorial please like uh like the video subscribe to this channel and uh, put your comments in the comment section 
tell us what we can do for you tell us what what we need to improve on this channel and we shall be glad to help out subscribe and like um have a nice day i remain ashraf from zenon studio see you next time bye